Good afternoon, friends, comrades, humans, aliens I may have met in the desert, cute chubby bears who may have found Wi-Fi in the forest. Welcome back to Fox's Best Laid Plans, the planner channel that has organized stickers. Oh yes, you heard that right. I organize my stickers. I want y'all to be the first to know that I can cross this is monumental. This has been on my power sheets for six-ish or more fucking months. I did it! I'm gonna put some exclamation points so we know how important it was. I sat down today and just did two hours and that's what I fucking did. I, on this week's vlog, on Thursday, when you look at this week's vlog, you'll see I did like an in-depth discussion of what I did, how I did it. And it's just, let me put some before and after for you, okay? This is satisfying. Here's the before and after, right? That looks good, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay, so it's time to plan. This is last week. It was a rough week. Uh, first of all, I went to the orthodontist. I started my Invisalign on Thursday, so if my voice sounds different, that's why. I'm, you know, getting better every day talking with it, but most of my friends say that they can't hear the difference. I can certainly hear the difference, but I hear myself all the time. So, you know, I, it was just a rough week emotionally. A lot of good running, that part was good. Good food. Uh, we lost a friend of ours on Friday. We found out he passed away. It was very sudden and he was only 32 and it was very, very sad. And I don't know, I feel like Friday and Saturday I just really was having a hard time coping with that. We hadn't seen him in a while because COVID. And um, we weren't like, you know, super, super close with him, but still somebody that like, we always looked forward to seeing when we did see them. And yeah, it was really rough. So I, I just wrote on here the day that he died, rest in peace. Um, yeah, I didn't feel very well this weekend, like emotionally, and that was making me not feel well physically. So I wrote over here. I was sad and anxious, because I was. We watched Mortal Kombat, the new one. It was disappointing. We watched the Oscars. They were disappointing. But we also watched the little mini series, It's a Sin, and that was not disappointing. That was excellent. I highly, highly recommend that. It's set in London in the early 1980s. Well, it starts in, in the early 1980s. It is about life in the gay community during the AIDS epidemic in the 80s and it was fascinating to me how different things were in a lot of ways in London than they were in the US. The US was the place that was most initially seemed to be the hardest hit because we had New York and San Francisco where it was spreading very quickly and London didn't have that. It didn't hit there quite as soon and so there are comments that the characters make about like oh that's an American disease we don't have to worry about that. Can I please have one plan with me where there's not a giant fucking truck going up my street? But anyway, super well acted. Just love the characters. Heartbreaking, of course, as you know it's going to be. I just, yeah, I just loved it. I thought it was so good. I really, really recommend it. Five episodes. They're each 45 to an hour long. So you can, you know, binge it in one or two days. And I really, really recommend it. I thought it was just so good and just so emotional and I'm still thinking about it days later. So that was good. Mortal Kombat, skip it, skip it. Just as you all know, I love the soundtrack from the 1995 Mortal Kombat. Just go listen to the soundtrack by the Immortals and, uh, and skip watching the new one. Trust me, you'll thank me later. Okay, let's actually fucking plan, all right? Sorry, I'll stop running off at the mouth here. Okay, we are planning the week of Monday, April 26th through Sunday, May 2nd. It is May by the end of this week. And this is my Gooseby Twins planner. And it is now Monday, April 26th that I am actually filming this. And I am using a kit from, I don't know if I have used this shop before. It is Plan with Pizzazz. And it is called, it's called Boho Bear. I don't know what it is about the word boho. I just don't like the word boho, but Look at these bears. They look like chubby bear groundhog mixtures and I, I'm obsessed. So I had to download this. This is not normally my color scheme too. And you know how I get funny about color schemes and I go like, eh, 
think that color scheme worked for me because it was too pastel. I think the bears are gonna outweigh the pastel. That's my, that's my guess. All right, I got some washi tape. I gotta figure out which way is right side up. I think it's this way, okay. <laughs> oh, it's been a busy day already. I've done a lot of things. It's about, what, three o'clock? Four o'clock, it is four o'clock. Oh, it's just like a mark. I thought it was a piece of dog fur. Uh, Layla, speaking of dog fur, Layla had her bath today. Thank God she really needed it. But that's always a stressful endeavor. And then I had to go to Lowe's. So I brought her with me to that. That was an like, exciting endeavor, but boy. So I was looking for, when I was trying to like, you know, what things are left on my power sheets that I can do before the end of the month. And the organize the stickers was one thing and I'm just tired of seeing it on my uh, attending list every month. So I was like, that's it, I'm doing it. I don't even care. And I did sit down and do it. It took me about, I wanna say about two hours. I started off, I wanna do 25 minutes. And then like after that, I was like, well, I'm in the zone now. I'm not gonna quit, because if I quit, I'll never come back to it. So, but I am, uh, I'm very particular about at the end of my, when I'm done with this today, like I never leave my planner supplies out. I always, after I'm done with the plan with me, I take down my filming apparatus and I put away all my stickers. I like, it. that's something that I, the same way that I am a bed maker, I make the bed every morning. If I don't make the bed in the morning, it's a bad day. Uh, the same way that I am particular about that, I am particular about putting away my planning supplies. And I know not everybody is like that. Some people are like, I'm so tired from after filming the plan with me that I don't wanna do any extra work. And I get that, but just for me, it's like, it stresses me out to have the stuff out. So I would say it took me about two hours start to finish and then Another thing that's on my power sheets for this month that I thought, oh, you know what, I could probably cross this off is I wanted to replace, I have some planters in the window here and we don't get a lot of natural light this side of the house. I don't, you know how like, what side, which degree does your house face, that kind of thing, you know? I don't know, are we north or are we south, which, you know, all I know is that the back window seems to get good sunlight and plants can grow in the back window. This window, which is the front of the house, where my office is, I have succulents. I have two succulents and a money tree. I think it's a money tree. Actually, I don't know. This thing I bought at work, uh, they are, they think they're all dead. So I wanted to replace the dead indoor plants. And so what I ended up doing, I took Layla, we went down and I got two indoor plants. I did buy another succulent. I'm just gonna try to be a little bit more attentive with it and just keep an eye on it. If I see that it's starting to struggle, I'm gonna move it just to the back window and that's that. But I also bought a spider plant. This is like peak druid, I know, you know, judge me. Um, I was feeling sad all weekend, as you knew, and going through like, just this, I don't know, I don't know. First of all, I wanna say thank you so much to everybody who reached out to me last week and who commented either here on the video or reached out to me personally, like offline and said something like about my video about body image and struggles with liking your appearance and self-hate and all that stuff. I, it just meant so much to me. I really, really appreciate that. And it just was very important to me. And I'm trying to work on taking better care of my body, but when I'm depressed, it's like I, the things that I know are good for me. Thankfully, I had group runs. Like I had a group run on Saturday, and then I was meeting, I thought just like one of my girlfriends and then it ended up being four of us that went out yesterday. When I have that, that keeps me going. But when I'm depressed, the things that I know that will make me feel better, like cooking a healthy meal, going for a run, working out, like going outside, going to the cemetery, that kind of stuff, it is so hard for me to do it. It's like a toxic cycle. So I've been trying to do better and it just the last couple days were just like a real struggle and I just really didn't have the energy. So in peak druid form, what I did was I went to the store and I was looking up, it was so nice. I went to Lowe's just because I wanted to go somewhere that's close to the house and like I could bring Layla and it would not be, you know, I didn't have to drive very far. So I went to Lowe's and they didn't have a huge selection, but they did have a really nice sign about 
house plants that are toxic to dogs and cats. So that was really nice. Like if you are buying something, there were a couple plants that I was like, oh, these are low light, we can get them. And then I looked at their chart and I'm like, well, no, we can't. Layla never bothers my plants, but I don't want to take a chance that like a leaf would die and fall off and she would, you know, investigate it. Or I don't want to take a chance that something would happen. So that was really awesome that they had that chart there. And I'm going to cover this part as really, I feel like I always do the middle though, don't I? No, I did last week. I did something different. I didn't do this week yet. I'm doing it next. I often do the middle, huh? No, I change it up enough. Okay. I don't know why I felt like I always, look at how cute this little bear is. Oh my God. He's got a little thing of honey. It's so cute. So I was looking for a spider plant is what I really wanted and they didn't have any. And I was like, oh, super bummed. Slow down. Did I want to leave that there? I don't want to leave that there. Oh no, here we go. If you don't pull up at least one sticker, did you really plan with Fox? There we go. Woo, that was less stressful. Yay. Okay, so anyway, I wanted a spider plant because spider plants are safe for dogs. So I'm like looking all over, they didn't have anything. Went back, we did find two other ones that happened to be low light, dog safe. So I bought those. And then I was like, let's just do one more pass. Just in the off chance that I maybe missed somewhere in there. And guess what? I found this one beautiful little sickly spider plant. When I say sickly, he's got a lot of brown leaves. He doesn't look terrific. But there is nothing more rewarding than buying a sickly plant and nursing it back to health. Am I right? I know I'm right. You don't even have to. I, I This one is one of those times where I know I'm right. <laughs> I don't doubt myself. Like if you can take a plant that's not doing well and you can bring it back and make it flourish, that is like peak good vibes, right? So that's the plan. I'm going to try to... Uh, try to bring this little buddy back. We'll see how it goes. But that's what I did. I was like, I'm feeling really sad. Let me, let me help a sad plant. <laughs> and that's how my brain works. And that's why, that's why we can't have nice things because I'm like, well, let me take the broken one. That I've talked about that before. If you're new here, that's a thing that I do. I have like a ton of like decorations and anytime it's like a broken animal, I will be like, no one's gonna buy that broken one, so I'll buy the broken one because I don't want them to be sad and on the shelf for the rest of their lives. Yeah, that's how I am. That's how I roll. So I bought the sickly spider plant and I'm going to try to nurse it back to health is the plan. So this week looks very stressful on paper. I mean, a lot of the things on here, no, several of the things on here are done. Several of the things on here are not super time intensive, but it's a very, it's a very busy week. All right, let me, hmm. let's see how I wanna do. Okay, I know I was saying for dinners, Sunday is marathon day. So I have here six square and six squiggle. So Sunday is gonna be its own thing because it's two, it's a big dinner and it's a big run. So I'm gonna do, okay. Let me set these down. I guess I don't need this because I'm gonna do a cage. What am I gonna do? Oh, that's right, work I was gonna do. Sorry, I'm all over the place. I found these stickers while I was cleaning out my I don't know if I like these though. I mean, I like them, but. This is just, this box is doomed. I don't want anything in that box. Every time I put something in that box, I'm like, nope, take that out. Take it out right now. What is this? Aha! This is what I want. Okay. There's a method to my madness. It may not seem like it but it is. There we go. I don't know how I feel about this, but I'm going with it. I'm rolling with it. 
so yeah, it's been a week of ups and downs and we joined a new running club. It's called the City of Bridges Run Club. And it is one of the people who used to do the Wednesday night runs here in Squirrel Hill. And it's her own running club now and she's awesome. It was so well organized. They change up the location week to week so you're not running from the same place all the time, which is nice. And everybody was so nice. We met a new person who ends up having mutual friends with me who are awesome people. So I'm like, okay, she's good because she knows people that I know that are good. It was a beautiful day. You know, it's not beautiful. I have to work five days this week because I have to work. Normally tomorrow I would be off. However, I had to switch days because we were stuck in Dallas that day with the airline drama situation. So I actually have to work five days in a row. And I will tell you, I did not go to school for six years so that I could work five days in a row. <laughs> That's not what I did when I chose to do retail. Sorry. That's a famous quote from my former preceptor. She would say, I didn't go to school for six years so that I could work five days a week. Because that is one of the benefits of certain types of healthcare, pharmacy, nursing, you get these non-traditional work schedules. And so it's like worth the fact that you work weekends because then you get weekdays off and you don't have to go to the grocery store with everybody on Saturday and Sunday. Oh, these are glossy. This might end in tears. Once I turn this over, those might smooch. Okay, so then also, well, I'll go back to that. I'll just put it in right now while I'm thinking about it. Friday night is an inventory. We used to do it every other year. We now do it every year. We have to do it either after closing on Friday, or no, after closing on April 30th or before opening on May 1st. I always do it after closing on April 30th because you never know how long it's gonna take. I've been at stores where it took us until midnight to do it. And so you don't wanna like risk, you have to do it when your store is closed. So my store is not too big, so it shouldn't take too long, but it's just kind of like an annoying thing you have to do every year. So that's Friday night. I don't know how long it'll take me, but you can't start it until you close at six. So let me fill in what I did today. Organized stickers gets to be its own sticker. Okay, so Layla had her bath. We went to Lowe's and I'm filming my plan with me right now. I'm gonna film my memory week preview. This is the kit I'm using. Isn't it cute? Sirens? Really? Really? Okay, organized stickers and then tonight dinner is at the cage. And then fitness. So if you remember, I was working through lift four and my friend Taylor and I decided we're going to do it together. So we're going to restart it today. Chest and triceps. Tomorrow is work. Uh, I have a lot of like other things I have to do. Whoa, this is the cursed box. It really is. So the three things I have to do tomorrow, register as the Burning River Pacer for Emily print my work schedules, and then I wrote marathon map question mark, because the marathon is on Sunday, it is virtual, and we need to figure out what the fuck we're doing. So I wanna look at what map they sent us, and then chat it out with my people and see what we're gonna do. I don't actually know how many of us are all doing it, doing the marathon, but some of us who are not doing the marathon are going to, I think we're going to the cage tomorrow. Should I just put this, uh, I won't test it. Uh, some of the people who are not actually running the marathon with us will be doing like aid stations along the way for us. So that'll be nice. 
but we have to figure out where the route is. And then husband and Layla Grace will be at the finish line. So that'll be nice too. Okay. So there's, I think we're gonna do the cage tomorrow night, but I'm not 100%. I have to run, I'm so close to my 100 miles. Don't even ask about it. Like I fucked up big time, but I'm making up for it. So I have 13 miles to go. So the goal is to run five and then lift, <laughs> lift four. Do the next day of lift four tomorrow. Hopefully I'll be able to do that before work and then do my run afterwards. I don't know. Just like fucking with me that I have to work tomorrow when I'm normally off. So I think we're gonna do the cage, but I'm not gonna fill anything in. Wednesday, yet again, run day. You know it, you know it. So here's the thing with Wednesday. Normally on Wednesdays we do our group run, just our like circle friends, down at the pump house in the waterfront. However, that city of bridges that we ran with, they're doing, they do Wednesday night like destination pub runs. And so it is at Cinderlands, which is like, I love Cinderlands. It's over in the strip district. Now, I don't know, are we going to do it? Are we going to just do our regular thing? I don't know if I can make it all the way over there by 6.30 when it starts from work. It'll depend on the traffic. So I have to, either way, I have to run five miles. <laughs> no matter what, I have to run five miles. But I don't know where or what exactly we're gonna be doing. I wanna start editing the vlog on that day, but I don't need to put a sticker down for that. Oh, I do need to put it down, right? I need to get our Dave tickets. Fuck. I am just jumping around a bit here. And I have to finish my intern's evaluation. I have two interns, one is done. She's just like a simple evaluation. The other one, I had to grade her papers. I got her papers graded last week and I just have to finish the last couple ones. So DMV, Dave is coming to Pittsburgh. And I have to figure out, we can't remember what happened with the tickets that we had for the 2020 show that got canceled and then rescheduled and then canceled again. Yeah, we don't know. Okay, Sarah, grading. I'm sure there's more. Anything else in here? No. Cool. All right, Thursday, finish editing the vlog and get that posted. So here's what I'm gonna do. Speaking of the vlog, that was one of the things I was supposed to work on for this week, is I'm going to, this week's vlog will be like the week that we're in right now, like normal, like, you know, Wednesday to Tuesday prior to this Thursday. But I'm gonna start working on, I'm gonna do them in chunks. And it may not be, Joshua Tree's gonna be its own chunk because there's a ton of shit a ton of footage from like arriving in California, Joshua Tree, the desert, blah, blah, blah. I don't know about the other locations if they're all gonna have their own. I would imagine Big Sur is gonna have its own day, but the wine country areas, I might combine those, but those are gonna be separate vlogs. So those will be coming out, but they'll be coming out separate from the weekly vlogs. Like there'll be a bonus video every week. That's how, that was the best way I could come up with to do it. So that um, it wasn't like a two hour long video. Okay, Thursday, then all I have to do on Thursday is run three miles and then lift. Run three, lift four. Ah, that's funny. All right, anything else on Thursday? Finish blog post, run, work. And then I don't know what dinner. So I may have mentioned this, I don't know if I did. Husband is trying to do low carb, which is just gross to me because just makes me feel yucky. We've done it before. I have tried it. It's just not for me. It doesn't make me feel good. It makes me feel like barfy all the time. And I don't like to feel barfy all the time. I just don't. So anyway, he is doing it because he wants to try to drop some weight fast to like jumpstart his motivation, I guess. Friday is just going to be lift. And then, so my cousin is coming up into town and I was hoping that we'd be able to see her, but she's like coming in Thursday and leaving Sunday. And I work all of those days. My dad has chemo tomorrow. She wants to like get together with the family. My dad has chemo tomorrow. I don't know how he's gonna be feeling by the weekend. So it's possible after I finish this inventory on Friday that we're gonna go see her. I don't know. I don't, I'm not putting it on here cause I really don't know what, the deal is yet. Okay, and then we have the final. So Saturday, I guess I'm back to running. 
I'm just gonna do a short, whoa, whoa, Rowdy, watch what you are doing, Lord. I'm just gonna do like an easy run because the marathon is, I'm not gonna write it in, maybe three or four. I'll write it when I do it. Uh, the marathon is Sunday. I guess I gotta have some pasta for dinner. I guess we gotta get some takeout. I don't even know if my normal place is open or not. And then I think I can safely say this on here because I don't think she watches my channel, but it is our friend Laura's birthday this week. And so we have decided we're going to, we got her like a gift certificate for a massage and for like a meal delivery service that's here in Pittsburgh. And so we are, and then my friend Michelle it babysits her dogs. And so she's away this weekend. Michelle's gonna be babysitting the dogs. So I'm gonna go over after work and we're gonna like just decorate the house a little bit. And I don't know how to write that on here. I'll write just Laura's birthday. So we're gonna like set up the presents and everything. It's Laura's birthday set up with Michelle. So yeah, and we might put some decorations up so that way when she gets home from her trip, she'll have like everything set out nicely and then some decorations and saying happy birthday. Just like, I don't know. She, her 40th birthday was last year and we couldn't get together because it was like this, not the start of the pandemic, but still the era where we weren't like, we didn't know you could hang out outside with people and that kind of thing. So we um, we did a car parade, which was really nice, but you know, it's not the same thing. And this year it's like on a Wednesday, her actual birthday's on a Wednesday and nothing really going on. So we thought that'd be nice to just surprise her. So she is an awesome person. All my friends are awesome. Okay. So Sunday is the big day. And by big day, I mean 26.2 mile training run. <laughs> yeah. And we're not like, oh, that's much darker than I thought it was gonna be. We're not um, racing it or anything since it's virtual. And at least two of us are training for a longer race the first weekend of June. And one of us is training for an even longer race. <laughs> so I don't know what time. I think we're probably gonna meet around eight would be my guess, but I'll just leave that blank. But so this is basically just gonna be a fun training run. We're like, let's set up places we can have, stop and have a drink, like we'll take it easy, just have fun, you know whatever. Then for dinner, we're going to Spirits and Tails, husband and me. We're going out to eat. Oh my goodness. We have reservations at 7 p.m. because it is, that's like later than I like to go to dinner, but it is a rooftop bar, a rooftop restaurant and bar, and I'd like to be there at sunset. So that's the plan there. So that's that. Okay. This week, I have a lot of bullet journal to catch up on. I have it all written out here. Do I want to put it in here? <laughs> I wrote pasta for dinner. <laughs> I don't, I got to look into where we can get it. Cause I don't think I always go the night before race day. I always get my pasta from this. What the fuck? The night before race day, I always get my pasta from this place called Lombardozzi over in Bloomfield. And I don't know if they reopened after the pandemic or not. I really don't know. So. That remains to be seen. Okay, I'll clean this up here so I can put down my stickers. Stickers. Ooh, okay, this is cute. It is a little bit more pastel than I normally go, but not in a bad way necessarily. Okay, the work stickers, I like how I did that. I didn't know if I was gonna like these are just like so round. <laughs> They're so round. But I like with the like little line behind it. So I'm gonna put this guy here because this is Lowe's. That's what we did. We got Lance at Lowe's. Oh, everybody fusses over Layla at Lowe's. It's so much fun. I have to fucking cook. Why did I not write it on here? <laughs> I just don't want to do it. I need to make that chicken broccoli casserole. Oh, I'll put another sticker down here. I got this. I need to have something for lunch. I'm a little bit nervous. Tomorrow will be my first day working since I got my Invisalign in and I'm not sure how it's gonna go. Well, that's a big sticker. Oh, that's fine. I'm not sure how it's gonna go with 
I got these little stickers. I'm going to use the grooming one, but I don't think there's really room for it. Uh, I'm not sure how things are going to go in terms of eating. Like, I feel like it's going to be a bad situation. <laughs> I feel like, you know, I'm so used to like, we kind of snack at work. It's how we do things because you don't always have time to like sit down and eat a real meal. So you're just kind of like snacking in between patients. And I don't know how that's going to play out with having to the Invisalign in and having to take it out so that I can eat. I can drink cold things. They said I can drink white wine. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, I could put my Invisalign in. I can have white wine. I could have, basically they said you could have red wine, but it might stain your trays. I, don't, I have to change my trays every Thursday night. Some people have them in for two weeks. I only have mine in for one week at a time. I really am not like, it's just minor adjustments and I can actually start to see the benefit already, which is pretty awesome. So, okay, there's my week. Y'all know I hate these open white spaces like this, but last week I had that and I just put shit in there. I mean, I left these open, but I put stuff around. <laughs> I made it look nice. So that could happen as the week goes on, but nothing changes the fact that I love these chubby little bear woodchuck thingies. So, all right, that's the week. I can do this. I can get through this. I have a plan. I know what's going on. Okay. Thank you all so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new here. I do two videos a week. I'm back on track with that this week now that I'm back from vacation and kind of back into the swing of things. So always a plan with me, always a vlog, sometimes a third video. Power sheets will be coming up and I probably should have put that in here somewhere. I don't quite know where. So I'm gonna lift before work on Friday, but maybe I'll do my power sheets in the morning too. We'll see. I'll add that in whenever I figure it out. I'm gonna put it on here though, so I don't forget. There we go, add it in. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're new here. And as always, my humans, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and I'll see you in my next video.